I have a question about artifacts and their role in magic. Can beginners in magic use artifacts to speed up the processes of work and development, or must they first learn to work without their help? Can a beginning practitioner achieve fixed results with the support of an artifact? Figuratively speaking, can I get to the right place by taxi using a map instead of going there on foot by myself? Can I use ready-made amulets and charged items from other mages, or do I have to make them with my own hands? Of course, the experience will be more significant in the second case. But you're absolutely right, colleague Matvey. You can use artifacts, you even should use them at the initial stage. Why? Because you might not have enough inner force to do everything yourself. So why reinvent the wheel if it already exists and works perfectly fine? That's certainly a very interesting and exciting activity, and after the invention, you will be incredibly proud of yourself, but you will spend too much of your time. And actually, descendants who follow a magical path need the experience of their predecessors to shorten a route. Using your analogy, with their experience we can reach the desired place by taxi following an appropriate map or other suitable landmarks. Amulets are created for this very purpose. But any amulet, artifact or power object has a reverse side, another facet that I have mentioned in the previous question. You need to be very sensitive to this facet and never go beyond it so that the amulet does not become a crutch without which you would be unable to walk. In other words, if you're used to getting to the right place by taxi, sooner or later, you'll face the fact that you've forgotten how to walk, and you will be dependent on someone who takes you there because you cannot walk on foot. Therefore, you must understand this facet well and keep your skills up, that is, it is best to do both. You need to know how to use the power objects because, in the first initial stage of training, they connect you to a certain channel, give you stability, resilience, and a basic set of knowledge that must become fundamental for your consciousness. You definitely need to know how to do all of these things, just like you need to know how to read before opening a book, because otherwise you'll have trouble understanding what it says. And also, you need to develop your inner instinct, knowledge and feeling when you need to stop, when you need to remove all amulets, when you need to stop using them and start working on your own. You need to study and understand how to create them, how they work, why they were necessary for you at the previous stage, and why they can be harmful to you at the current stage. You need to feel all these things very accurately. Perhaps you are the lucky one who is fortunate enough to have a human or non-human mentor, because, at the right moment, he will simply tell you that now you need this. Now, you don't need that. Now, you need to use this artifact, which makes you attune your consciousness in a certain way, so that knowledge or some skills are perceived and assimilated better. Now, you need to put this artifact aside, because it would become a crutch for you. You will not develop your own neural connections, you will not develop your personal magic, you will go on the beaten path, losing your individuality. But one way or another, sooner or later, you should start to develop your own magical specialization, without any crutches, without any artifacts. However, once you study some new route, you will use the help of the guiding thread, and when you reach a certain point and a certain limit, you will say to yourself, stop, I don't need any more help, and again, you will follow your route without any artifacts. Of course, it is best to combine these routes, but you can follow them simultaneously, do something with the help of artifacts, and learn something on your own. However, this is always a very individual path and algorithm. I repeat, it is good to have a mentor who will prescribe this algorithm for you, or at least help you compose it correctly. But sometimes, you must rely on your instincts and follow your own path. 
In this case, you make more mistakes but get more valuable results. For you, this experience will be like the initial invention of the wheel, and it won't matter to you that everyone else has been driving it for a long time.